Boris Johnson's government is drawing up plans for new legislation which will give ministers the authority to negate the existing Northern Ireland Protocol. Prime Minister Boris Johnson and Foreign Secretary Liz Truss are believed to have in principle given the green light for plans to submit a Northern Ireland bill at the start of next month's parliamentary session. The development has come about owing to concerns from within Downing Street about how the upcoming elections in Northern Ireland could impact relations in Britain. The plans would see ministers awarded unilateral powers to renege on key parts of the protocol. Of these abilities, MPs would be able to switch off border checks on goods traveling between Northern Ireland and Great Britain. Articles 5 to 10 of the protocol, which make up its legal heart, would be disengaged altogether in a move which would likely infuriate European Union EU, politicians. The legislation is being discussed before May's crucial Northern Ireland Assembly elections, which are predicted to be dominated by the nationalist Sinn Féin party. Northern Ireland's government is currently controlled by its mainly Protestant and Unionist parties who have all opposed the current protocol. Ministers hope that a new law will provide more favourable terms for the parties and entice them into an agreement. A government spokesperson confirmed to the fort that no decisions had yet been taken and that the overriding priority continues to be the protection of peace and stability in Northern Ireland. Last week the Brexit Opportunities Minister, Jacob Rees-Mogg, told MPs that the UK had the right to take unilateral action if Brussels did not reform the protocol. What are the alternative choices? First, ministers could continue down the path of the current protocol, though this largely doesn't have the support of MPs in Westminster or Belfast. Since the protocol was agreed to more than two years ago, the UK and EU have been engaged in negotiations for a new pact. But the pace of these has frustrated British MPs with talks between Ms. Truss and her EU counterpart, Maros Sefcovic, showing no imminent signs of a breakthrough. As a result, politicians may feel it necessary to take a different route even if it comes at the expense of angering Brussels.